Top news headlines. India coronavirus case tally goes up to 26 lakh, over 50,000 deaths. Amit Shah admitted to AIMS days after recovery from coronavirus. And Satyapal Malik appointed as Governor of Meghalaya. A very good afternoon and welcome to Times of Manipur News today at 1 pm. This is Masako Nithojim giving you the latest news updates. Over 50,000 people have already died of coronavirus in India, while the total number of cases have gone up to 26 lakh. As per media reports, globally over 2.18 crore people have been infected by COVID-19 so far, while 7.72 lakh people have died across the world. Meanwhile, US drug maker Novax has said that it will start... Ha sorry has said it has started with the mid-stage study of its coronavirus vaccine in South Africa. The Russian coronavirus vaccine, which President Vladimir Putin has claimed to be the first coronavirus vaccine to have cleared all tests, is still under doubt. Amid the uncertainty over the results of clinical trials of Russian coronavirus vaccine Sputnik V, Mexican President Andrei Manuel has volunteered to try the vaccine. In India, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that there are three coronavirus vaccine candidates that are undergoing trials and are various stages of development. A government panel has met with the representatives of Ser Serum Institute of India, Bharat Biotech and Zydus Cadilla that are working to develop the vaccines. The panel spoke to the drug makers on what stages of research they are at and apart from details of large-scale production. The total coronavirus case tally in Manipur stands at 4,687, while the death toll is 17 as of this morning. 94 persons, 53 males and 41 females from general population and 24 personnel from Central Armed Police Force CAPF were tested positive for COVID-19 in the state in the last 24 hours. The positive cases were detected at VRDLs of RIMS, JNIMS, Raj Medicity, District Hospital Churachanpur, Babina Diagnostics, Sanapati DTO, Thaubal, Taminglong, Imphal East, None, Shija Hospital and Imphal West RAT. The number of active cases in the state now stands at 1,936, while 2,734 have been discharged after recovery. 102 persons were discharged in the past 24 hours. The recovery rate in the state has increased to 58.33% according to the state COVID-19 common control room. Meanwhile, former world champion boxer El Sarita Devi yesterday tested positive for COVID-19 along with her husband Thoiba Singh, but both of them are asymptomatic. The couple's son, Tom Tim, has tested negative. Sarita is an Asian Games bronze winner, besides being a five-time Asian champion Championships gold medalist. The 38-year-old is the second boxer to test positive for the virus after the legendary Ngangom Dinko Singh. Dinko, an Asian Games gold medalist, had recovered from the infection after enduring month-long hospitalization. Sarita is one of the longest serving and among the most decorated women boxers of the country. Home Minister Amit Shah has once again been admitted to hospital. 
According to media reports, Amit Shah was admitted to Ames last night, days after he recovered from coronavirus. Amit Shah has, is currently under observation at Ames, reports added. A team of doctors led by Ames Director Dr. Randeep Guleria is monitoring his condition. Ames has said in a medical bulletin that Amit Shah has been complaining of fatigue and body aches for the past three to four days. Amit Shah had tested negative for coronavirus on Friday after receiving treatment for around two weeks at Medanta Hospital in Gurgaon. Amit Shah was on home isolation after his recent release from hospital. 55-year-old Amit Shah, who had tested positive for coronavirus early in August, had said that on the doctor's advice, he will be in home isolation for the next few days. Around 2 a.m. on Monday night, Amit Shah was taken to Ames and was admitted to a private ward at Premier Hospital in Delhi. His condition is being monitored by an expert team led by the AIMS director. He is currently under observation. President Ramnath Kovind today appointed Satyapal Malik as the governor of Meghalaya. As per media reports, the governor of Maharashtra, Bhagat Singh Koshyari, has been given the additional charge of Goa. The announcement was made today by Rashtrapati Bhavan in a fresh communique. Malik was appointed as Goa governor in October 2019. He earlier served as the governor of the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir reorganization. Malik was at the hem when Jammu and Kashmir was divested of its special status in August 2019 and split into two union territories. It's time for a short commercial break. Stay tuned for more updates. Saklun Ama. Hasi Kuntoji, Nomidam Puntare, Makaida, Miam Buharao Nungaina Pota and Bangam Lagadaba, Sagnai Raba, Miam Gi Ojato Langalunana, Miam Bungajerangi, Aikogi number seven six two nine nine four three five four three, the call to be O, Sagrapum, Heman Tagalunana, Nayak Harao Tea Ministry. Anoka features in Galunana, like the Ray Dutton Ready Gold, Distinctive LED DRLS. 20 inch 32 cm infotainment screen, smart drive auto, spacious cabin, flexible storage capacity, intuitive reverse parking access camera, starting price 3 lakh. Booking kita mag nasi maglengsin bida u island Nissan Kanjipur near Standard Robert Higher Secondary School. Welcome back after the break. A combined team of Imphal West Commando and 15th Assam Rifles arrested one active cadre of Pripak Pro along with explosive materials last evening from Sejong village, a police report said. The arrested has been identified as Ingodam Ingocha, alias Borobi Singh, aged 43 years of Sejong Makalaikai in Imphal East. The team recovered one Chinese hand grenade, four detonators, two 9-volt batteries with connector, three circuits, two PEK cake weighing around 260 gram, three bunches of wire, trinitrotoluene, TNT explosive powder weighing around 700 gram and one mobile handset from his possession. Um, upon, sorry, upon interrogation, Ingocha disclosed that he started working for the outfit in February 2020 under the command of one Lal Ngamba of Prepark Pro Finance Department. He was also admitted that in the first week of March 2020, he went to Moray after an order from his commander and handed over some explosive materials to be planted at Lamlai Yangang Pokpi Road to target security forces. He, the arrested along with the seized articles was handed over to Yangang Pokpi police station for further necessary legal action, the report said. The prescribed Kangle Yawol Kanna Loop KYKL today observed Athoba Singhi Numit or Martyrs Day. KYKL Secretary Publicity and Research A. Yaifaba in a press statement released to the press said that the outfit paid respect to members of all underground groups in the state and Wisian region who laid down their lives for a better future. Yaifaba in a statement also informed that the Martyrs Day was observed in all transit camps, units and every office of the outfit. 
The joint non-government voluntary organization Jungvo Kukching has urged the Director of Health Services and Kukching District Deputy Commissioner to take up action against Kukching Chief Medical Officer for alleged negligence of duty, corruption and showing indifferent attitude towards COVID-19 frontline warriors in Kukching. Mrs. Iowa India 2017 first runner-up Asha Kiran Konsam, Mrs. Iowa Creative 2020 title winner Benita Sapam, and Miss Iowa Fitness 2019 title winner Cherishma Leimapokpam, along with members of Fit Manipur, provided edibles to underprivileged and needy people in Imphal area amid the ongoing lockdown. Under the initiative of cyclist Rohan Film, monetary aid was also extended to the people. Secretary of People's Resource Development Organization Association, PRDA, Bishnupur, L. Suranjoy, today thanked President of International Academy of Sports and Martial Arts, Mahmoud El Mutalib, for honoring PRDA Assistant Secretary Dr. Huidrum Romain with a prestigious doctorate degree. The head of International Academy of Sports and Martial Arts, Russia branch, awarded the doctorate degree to Dr. H. Romain in recognition of his work and efforts in the field of sports. Dr. H. Romain is a black belt fifth degree in Kung Fu and Kink Boxing and black belt third degree in Karate. He is also an international judge and referee of martial arts. Dr. Huidrom Romain in the past 25 years has been painstakingly working for the promotion of sports. He also holds many top positions like Chairman and General Secretary of International Martial Arts Organization Federation. Dr. Romain, a national and international awardee, is also a voluntary blood donor. He has donated blood over 43 times. It's time for another short commercial break. Stay tuned for more updates. Siri Siri Gaurachandraya Nama Purbas Ramda Akhoi Kwai Pum Namak Pukon Biramba Sri Kundrak Pam Ibo Bisingna Magi Nung Sizaraba Imu Manung Sagay Nata Yamadi Marup Mapang Kwai Pum Namak Putadok Lamlaga Hau Kiba Tang Nipan Tawan Yikun Nipan Batang Zanamita Sri Guru Gi Kripa Daki Bay Solaga Sri Biswamber Dal Zabanam Pangzaduna Pindaban Prapti Oikre Lakliba Tang Tara Humdoi Ing Tawan Yikun Marinipan Basagon Senamita Asi Sanjay Lokachara Lakliba Tang Kun Matoi Langban Yihum Nipan Ba Rainumita, Lake Hidrabagi, Strada in Tokle, High River Thoramasi, Covid nineteen Namaram Oraga, Emu Manu, Sagina, the Kaktamak Pang Tok Jaragani, Masida Lake Hidrabaga Luna Ramba, Tinaramba, Maruma Pang Singna, Waro Bitanaba, Nolukjari, Nolukjariba, Kundra Pang Chandrakala Devi, Amadi, Emu Manu Sing, Lirenjam, Mayalekai. Kanghan Java Lamjing Bay Finance ki mai kai wafam kharadan kanghan jare madu de hau ki ba julai ki tang mari lesengani kunda thok ki ba notice ki matungena august tara manga lesengani kunda ge Lamjing Bay Finance hang ba hogani taw zaram ba do laiga na hau ki ba julai ki tang kolum doi de ge leptana lockdown thamlat pana mara moirga office hang ba yadana lakli mara maduna laiga ki mai kai de office hang ba yahan ba ge kodong chawa du pi jiba faw de Lamjing Bay Finance ki thabak thawram sing pang thopada achau ba pan ba Masina Maram Moraga Lamjimba Finance na Mamang Tokiba, Notice Adu Ste Tauraga, Anauba Notice Matuba Matamda, Laibaki Situation Gieng Laga, Tokjuba Fauba, Lamjimba Finance Kamari Lena Batabak Tauram Singh, Lepcha Kigani Haina Pogjinjari, Pauzinjari Ba, Maibum Ranjan, Manager Lamjimba Finance. Welcome back after the break. Air Force Station at Tezpur in Assam yesterday handed over relief materials for flood affected and others to the Sonitpur District Administration as part of their continued efforts to maintain good relationships with the civil administration and the general public. 
a team led by Flight Lieutenant Asim Garg, including MW Okalia and Surgeon Diobrat, personally handed over the relief packages to Circle Officer in charge, Tezpur Revenue Circle, Antaripa Daimari, according to media reports. The Circle Officer on behalf of the Sonitpur District Administration thanked the representatives from Air Force Station Tezpur for extending their helping hand and for showing unstinted support to the relief efforts being carried out by the administration during natural disasters. The Supreme Court today said the money deposited in Prime Minister Citizen Assistance and Relief in Emergency Situations, PM Cares Fund, need not be transferred to the National Disaster Relief Fund, NDRF. According to media reports, the Apex Court dismissing a petition filed by NGO Center for Public Interest Litigation said no order could be issued for transferring money from the PM Cares Fund. The NGO had moved the court seeking direction to the government to transfer funds in light of the coronavirus pandemic. It claimed the center was refraining from divulging information about the money contributed to the PM Cares Fund till date. The Supreme Court today, however, said the 2019 disaster management plan was sufficient for managing the COVID-19 situation and no fresh plan was needed. It said voluntary contributions could always be made to the NDRF. With the assent of President Ram Nath Kovind yesterday, the change in name of the Ministry of Human Resource Development, MHRD, has been given signal. The HRD ministry is now renamed as Ministry of Education, an official notification said. The change in the name of HRD Ministry was among the key recommendations of the draft New National Education Policy, NEP, which was also cleared by the Union Cabinet last month. A Gazette notification published last night said the President had given his nod to changing the name of the HRD Ministry to Ministry of Education. Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam said today that she, she was not too, too bothered by, about U.S. sanctions against her, but the Chinese-ruled city will complain to the World Trade Organization WTO about a new U.S. requirement on Hong Kong-made products. According to a media report, the United States this month imposed sanctions on Lam and other current and former Hong Kong and mainland officials whom Washington accuses of curtailing political freedom in the financial hub. The sanctions came in response to China's imposition of a sweeping national security law on the semi-autonomous city after prolonged anti-China, pro-democracy protests last year. And now let's take a look at the local newspaper headlines. The Sangai Express. Prime Minister Modi has mandated Intelligence Bureau to carry on talks, claims NSCN IM. Foundation stone of Rs 3,000 crore highway projects in Manipur late. Gadkari assures expedite highway works. The People's Chronicle. Foundation led for projects worth Rs 3,000 crore. Makru and Barak bridges would be completed by the end of this year, says Chief Minister Birain. Chief Minister Birain resigned MLAs mid BJP central leaders. Death toll rises to 17. Local cases reach 500 in Imphal West. Health Authority unable to provide district specific information of several discharge cases. Indian Railways sustains work on world's tallest spire bridge. Imphal Free Press. Union Minister Gadkari lays foundation stone for 13 highway projects in Manipur. High School Living Certificate Compartmental Examination Candidates Declared Past Manipur Mail Gadkari lays foundation stones for projects worth Rs 3,000 crore Covid cases reach 4,867 High School Living Certificate Compartmental Exam Before we end the news, the top news headlines once again
India coronavirus case tally goes up to 26 lakh, over 50,000 deaths. Amit Shah admitted to AIMS days after recovery from coronavirus. And Satyapal Malik appointed as Governor of Meghalaya. That's all for the news today at 1 p.m. Thank you for watching.